I haven't seen many people fly the Mavic 2, uh, the Zoom or the Pro, with DJI goggles yet. It can be done. Uh, I've actually accomplished it. I haven't actually flown with it, but I've linked the two and I can see a signal, so I know it can be done. So we're gonna do it here together. We're gonna use both the original goggles, the OGs, and the red racing goggles, uh, the RGs, as I like to call them, uh, for red goggle. And we're gonna see if there's any noticeable differences between the two and just kind of share my experience on how you do this and what it's like to do it. So stay tuned. All right, so what I have here is the uh, Mavic 2 Zoom. Now the Mavic 2 Zoom has only been out for a little while and uh, I don't think a lot of people have had the opportunity to try flying it using the goggles. Now, one of my very favorite things with the Mavic Pro was to fly using the goggles. It is such an awesome experience. I really can't say enough great things about the OcuSync connection between the goggles and the drone wirelessly, how smooth it looks, how reliable the signal is, how clear the picture is, how big the image is in these things. I mean, it's just like you're looking at a huge movie theater screen um, because it's so close to your eyes and it's such a big screen relative to other goggles I've used. Um, as you may know, DJI came out with the white pair of goggles uh, quite a while back, and then they came out with the REs, which is the Racing Edition goggles. The biggest difference between these two is the REs have a 5.8 gigahertz analog receiver that allows you to do racing drones with them, in addition to OcuSync with a Mavic Pro or a Mavic 2. Now, in order to do what I'm about to do, you need to download DJI Assistant. DJI Assistant is available at DJI.com, and I'll show you some screenshots here on where you get it. You go into DJI.com, you go to Consumer, I believe, and Goggles, and then uh, there's Downloads or Software, I forget which one it's called, um, I think it's Downloads, and you go to DJI Assistant, you install that on your machine, and once it's installed, you can use DJI Assistant to do a variety of things with your drones, but one of the big things is update the firmware, particularly on the goggles. So once you've downloaded DJI Assistant, you'll plug the goggles in using the USB port that you charge them with into your computer, and then you'll open DJI Assistant. It'll see the goggles there. Oh, the goggles have to be on too. It'll see the goggles there, and it will ask you to select them. Is this what you want to update? And you say yes, and then you update to the latest firmware. And once you've done that, you'll be able to see the Mavic 2 uh, with the goggles. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire it up using the original white goggles and just see what that flight experience is like. So one quick thing, when you turn the goggles on, you go to the main menu of the goggles and you go into pairing mode or connect. And when you get to the connect menu, uh, it'll ask you if you wanna connect a Mavic Pro or a Mavic 2. So select the Mavic 2 and then the uh, Mavic 2 actually has a little button here on this side. This little black button right here, you push that in gently uh, because it actually is not very well secured. If you watch Rick's video on Drone Valley, you'll see what I'm talking about. That'll put it into bind mode. Use this to bind the drone to a remote control if you need to rebind it to a new remote control or you use it to bind to the goggles via OcuSync. The little light here will blink. When you're in uh, connect mode on the goggles, the two will see each other and it'll connect. So I've already done that. So we're gonna go ahead and give the goggles a try. And one thing a lot of people don't know about these goggles, the way they're supposed to sit on your head, you loosen this thing on the back. This back part should come down kind of low right here, and then you tighten it up. It's little, it should be at a little bit of an angle like this. Um, if you have it uh, flat against your head, they're gonna kind of droop down. But the way it's on my head right now is very comfortable. And guess what? I am seeing a great shot of what the Mavic Zoom is seeing right now. So now what I'm gonna do is try flying them with the goggles. Now, one thing to note, I don't even have my phone connected. I'm gonna see if I can do this just using the goggles uh, to do everything and the remote, of course, to record and such. Let's take off. And I'm getting a 1080-30 signal right now. I can see my exposure value is uh, 
currently um, plus seven. Oh, and this little button here is actually toggling me through some different control, different uh, things on the controller. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I can zoom in using the zoom, and I can see what I can see myself zooming in. Whoa! And when you're zoomed in and you spin around, dang, it looks crazy. I hadn't tried that yet. There we are. All right, stand up straight, and. Yeah, I mean, this is great. I'm getting a 1080-30 live view, no dropout whatsoever. Uh, all, my, all my HUD stuff is up there. I can see my exposure value on my camera. I can see my ISO on my camera. I can see uh, that I'm recording, how long I've been recording. Obviously, I can see... Um, my height and distance. You can see my bad posture, which I'm correcting. And I can see well enough that I think I can bring it in and land it on the pad using the goggles. Let's try it. Whoop, whoop. It's a little weird because I'm seeing myself. All right. Here we go. Oh, too much. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> and I didn't hit myself. Took everything I had not to run away because it sounded really close. All right, so now we've done it with the uh, regular goggles, the white goggles. Now let's give it a shot with the uh, RE goggles and see if there's any difference. One quick thing, uh, when, I, when I turned these on, uh, I had bound each of them individually to the uh, Mavic 2 Zoom just to make sure that it would work on both of them, and it did, but it can't be bound to both at once unless you do, there is a way to bind two sets of goggles to the, at the same time, but I didn't do that before. And so I had to rebind these to the drone, which was simply pushing that button on the side and then going into the menu on the um, goggles and uh, saying connect. So it's been done. And then here's the other weird thing. When I did connect, I could see all the telemetry on the drone. I could see its distance. I could see altitude. I could see um, you know all the, all the telemetry, but I wasn't getting a picture. I turned everything off and turned it back on and the picture popped right up. So I don't know if that was uh, a problem on my end or if it's a glitch in the matrix or what, but uh, I just turned everything off, turned it back on, and after I had bound the previous time, everything was good to go. So now we're gonna try flying with RE goggles. It's giving me right now, interestingly, it's giving me a 720-30 uh, live view. Let me see if that's something that, uh, whoops. See if that's something I can change in the settings. Okay, so there's smooth mode, HD mode, normal mode, and the difference between them is smooth mode is 720-60, uh, priority with low latency. HD mode is 1080p 30, uh, which may have a little bit more latency. And then normal mode is 720-30, which allows less wireless transmission bandwidth so therefore, you shouldn't ever get any dropouts there. I'm going to go ahead and put it in 1080-30 in HD mode and confirm. All right, so it just switched. Um, and it's funny, I can actually see slight difference in the, in the quality of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and take off and see how it goes. And once again, in HD mode, 1080, 30, uh, very smooth, very, very smooth. Uh, no dropout, no latency, great view of everything I can see. Once again, I'll try the uh, landing pad challenge. All right, 
here goes the here goes the landing pad challenge. Vinny, will you tell me if I'm gonna kill myself? Looking good? Oh. Boy, once you get down here close, it's hard to be subtle. Really should use tripod mode. Hey, there we go. Hey, look at that. Center? Yeah. You know what's really cool about the zoom is when it lands, it tilts the camera up automatically. So it's not like landing in the dirt. All right, so there you go. Uh, whether you have the RE goggles or the original goggles, they both work great with the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro, I'm assuming. I haven't done it, but uh, I think it's the same setup. Um, pretty easy to do, just download DJI Assistant, upgrade the firmware in your goggles, make sure you're on the latest version of DJI Go 4. I don't know if that's actually important or not, but it's always a good idea. And then uh, pair the two using the usual pairing system, which now includes the Mavic 2 uh, as an option in the goggles. The flight experience is absolutely amazing, just incredible. It really is like you're um, flying. I mean, it makes you want to fall over. Just be careful because sometimes it's a little weird when you can see yourself in the shot. Uh, if you, as you could see a few minutes ago, I had a kind of a close call, but I highly recommend the goggles. They are one of those things that I think is underrated in terms of uh, products. They're fairly inexpensive now. I know you can buy a bundle with the goggles and they work great with both the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos about drones and RC stuff, I hope you'll subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.